Linkin Park delivered a powerful and emotional performance at London's O2 Arena on Tuesday, September 24, marking their highly anticipated return. The show was the band's first in London in seven years, and it was filled with intensity, heart, and a sense of proving something. After announcing their comeback earlier in the month, Linkin Park introduced Emily Armstrong, formerly of Dead Sarah, as their new co-vocalist, replacing the late Chester Bennington. While the initial excitement around the band's return was strong, controversy quickly followed due to Armstrong's past associations with Scientology and convicted rapist Danny Masterson. Armstrong addressed the situation with a public statement, while Mike Shinoda reassured fans that this tour is about honoring the past, not erasing it. Fans packed the venue early, eagerly lining up for merchandise and securing their spots before opener Grandson took the stage. The emotional tone was set early when Grandson's frontman Jordan Benjamin performed Heather, a moving tribute to grief and loss, prompting the crowd to illuminate the arena with their phone lights in memory of loved ones. When Linkin Park finally hit the stage, the energy was electric. They kicked off with the fan favorite, Somewhere I Belong, and the seated audience immediately rose to their feet, staying there for the rest of the night. Armstrong moved fluidly across the stage, engaging with fans from every angle and taking in the magnitude of the crowd. A major highlight of the night was the band's new single, Emptiness Machine, which felt like an instant classic as the audience jumped along in perfect unison. The night was an emotional triumph, with Armstrong stepping into her role with both respect and fire, and Linkin Park proving that, despite the changes, their live shows remain as impactful as ever.